Hey guys, Lagonius here, welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to build one of these rings out of Lego. We use this ring design in our episode LAU Atlas, the E-Flow ring. And in that instance it's used as a bishop ring, which I believe is a sci-fi term. Uh, essentially it's just a ring that spins really fast to simulate gravity on its inner edge. You may have seen like similar designs in games like Halo, so like the Halo is a bishop ring. So we're going to show you how to build it. There are some things to note before we get underway. The ring consists of 23 identical segments, so we're only going to show you how to build one of them. There are a few differences between the segments. As you can see, some of them we put the trans blue inverted tile, some of them we just used uh, gray. Also, you can put whatever you want on the inner edge of the, of the ring. For our episode, uh, we used lavender and magenta because it kind of fit with what theme we were doing. But uh, you may want to change it out for blue and green if you're making like an actual halo. Uh, that way it would simulate something like a real environment. Alright, so let's get in here closer. We're going to show you how this is done. Okay, as we said before, it's 23 identical rings. We took one out and we're going to show you how to build it. You just got to repeat that 23 times and then they would all clip together to form the ring. Alright, let's get started. Okay, this design is really easy. We don't know the exact name of the parts, so bear with us a little bit here, but uh, we're going to show you how it's done. So the first thing you're going to start off with is a 2x6 brick. And on this brick, you're going to want to put what the surface of the ring looks like. So if you wanted it to be the blues and greens and stuff, that's where you're going to add that now. Like I said, we just made ours uh, lavender and magenta, so I'm just going to put that on there for now. So once you got that, you'll take a 2x8 brick. And you put that on top of it, just as so. We made both sides of our ring different. If you bring it back out here for a second, one side's more detailed than the other side, just because we knew we were gonna be taking pictures of it. It's only gonna face, uh, need to look at it from one direction. So we're gonna build it the same way we built it, but if, if you wish, you can make it more detailed on the other side as well. So all we did for the back side of it that's not gonna be seen is we just took a one by two brick. We used one of the ones with the little grooves in it just to give it a little detail. Put that on one side there. And we're gonna take one of these one by two panels and we're gonna place it on our assembly as so. On the other side, we're gonna put a one by two plate. And then we're gonna place one of these uh, bracket parts here where it's like a one by two clip, or one by two plate, and then it's got four studs on the little bracket. That goes on next. Then we're gonna put another one by two plate on top of that. So now it's evened up the other side, so that means we're going to put another of these one by two clip, or one by two panels, sorry. All right, so we got something looking like this here. Now on, the, the side, the four studs in the, on the bracket, we just placed a little bit of detailing on there. So we put a one by two grill tile and we put a little jumper plate. Again, this is part of the ring that you can customize however you like. Whatever you want the outside of your ring to look like. All right, for the next part of the assembly, we're gonna flip this little thing over here. We got two two by two inverted slopes. Gonna put that on either side there. The next part we're gonna put the clips, it's gonna allow it to attach to the other segments. So we got two of the one by two plates with the little bar and two of the one by two plates with the little clips on there. put the clips on each side of it. So the clip ones are on one side and the bars are on the other side there. We use a tan 2x4 plate for whatever reason. I guess because it won't be seen it didn't really matter. Put that on top of the clips and then we'll put the gray one to keep our gray theme going on top of that. Now it's even with the slopes there. Then we're gonna kinda connect this all together with some of these two by two round inverted tiles on each side there. 
securing those uh, inverted slopes to the plates so it's all one nice assembly. Now the thing we're going to build in the middle here is going to help hide the hinges so that you can't see them from the outside is easy. And we used the white hinges because we just had a lot of those. But I mean, I guess if you wanted to make it perfect, you could make it gray like the rest of this. So to hide it and so that it fits snugly together in this 23 segment arrangement, we're going to use two modified plates. One of them is the 1x2 plate with the little handle thing on there. And the other plate is the one that has a little track on the side. And as you build each one of these segments, you got to remember to put the same pieces on the same sides. So we're putting the modified plate with the little bar next to the clips on ours. So I'll have to remember that to do that for every step. And we're placing the 1x2 with the track next to the 1x2s of the bar there. And then we're going to go ahead and put a, another inverted round tile on there. And if you watch the beginning of the video, we alternated every other segment was gray. The other ones were trans blue just to kind of give it some variety. And then we added these uh, one by one cylinders to each side of the little bar there, just to make it go out farther. When you place all these things together, you'll, you'll realize that these cylinders can't be all the way up against, so it's gonna barely be on there. Uh, a lot of them have fallen off, so if you're gonna be handling this a lot or playing with a lot, you may wanna try a different design, like maybe use lightsaber handles there because it's a little bit more narrow. All right. So once you've completed all the segments, you just gotta clip it into all the rest of the rings. All right, I think I knocked off a cylinder right when I was putting it together there, but that's, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of not very sturdy in that regard. But there you go, we got a ring. So there you go, it's not the most sturdy design. You definitely wouldn't want to like throw this around like a frisbee, but it does roll kind of nicely. Uh, because of the segments don't fit together 100% perfect, when you let go of it, it kind of collapses down just a tiniest bit. And doing that motion over and over will cause it to fall apart. One last thing we did, since there's 23 segments and we were alternating between the uh, blues and grays here, Obviously it wasn't going to work out because there's an odd number of segments. So the last one that we had to open on there, we used that for the stand for the ring. So we just put like a little 2x2 two two round clear brick and this big old clear dish. And there you go. Then it's able to stand up. Alright, so you can see this ring in our episode LU Atlas, the eFlow ring. Currently it's available to patrons only. So if you'd like to join us on Patreon and sign up, you get access to this episode right away. So we showed you how to build one segment of that. So you can make yourself a little parts list, multiply that by 23, and then jump on BrickLink to get all the necessary parts. We have uh, two affiliate stores, Big B Bricks and Bricks Anywhere. There's links down in the description. So check those stores out first to see if they have any of these parts. And if you're a patron, you can get a discount as well. So make sure you check that out. All right, thanks for joining us. See you later.